Hey folks, I'm gonna call it 215 back. Finished this project, finally, after about a month or two of working on it. Working off and on it. Anyway, anyway let's see what we got. Uh, I don't know if you can see it back there. Get this thing to focus. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely found a place for that. So let's see what this wine vineyard project looks like here. Yeah. All right, here we go. This light turned. Oh, light. Okay. Three different shades of red. Like five different shades of green. Got it all backstitched. Got the clouds. Let's check out some of the detail work there. I mean, that looks really good there. That's a stupid thing. There's one thing missing, though. It's not really missing. And it's not really complete until it's done. So, let's see what we got. Don't mind me, I like to hum while I'm doing things like this. Alright, gotta work, bear with me here because I'm trying to work between the camera and the canvas. <laughs> Hopefully y'all will be able to see this. Let's see... Uh, that work. That's a nice little spot right there. See if that feeds through. Okay, so that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge here. Technical difficulties here. Over. Wait, where am I? Duh. Come on. That's the one thing I hate is trying to find that one spot out of the whole lot of them. I think that'll work. Alright. Get my finger off from behind there so I don't jab myself with the needle like I did that last time I did this. Back on that Dear Winter Scene Project. Should probably take that one more. This is a bad angle. Yeah, 
I'm probably going to run out of room here, but screw it. Oh, y'all are, are probably screaming at the at the video. I was like, "No, you're doing it all wrong. You're not supposed to be doing it like that. Stop screwing it up. <laughs> that is not how you backstitch." Uh, you know, whatever works. No, I screwed this up. What the hell? Get stupid thing. I got a whole minute here, folks. I got a tingle. I got to get out. There we go. Let pull that up just for the fun of it. All right. Really? Let's try this again. should do. Alright, there we go. My signature. <laughs> PK215. Where's like a safe on Quality 215. Alright, now let's see. Let me just take and get this thing. In case y'all are wondering about this blackout one, I just, uh, put my glass from the picture frame down, marked around it with the marker, so I have a pretty good idea of where to cut. Alright, so... Let me just do a quick little... Quick little... Put that. Oh, 
Tử Let's see how. No, I'm out of the Get to a comfortable angle here. Stick with it. All right, now. Uh, there we go. Not like that. So that is what it looks like. We just take our scissors and go snip snip. And yes, I know I'm not making perfect cuts. frame put that in the frame perfect fit that's a perfect fit first try normally it doesn't work this good normally I'll just sit there kind of crimp it down trim it up crimp it down a little more trim it up realize I've gone too far like damn it all right back of the frame Framed and done. Although now, now I realize I have just a little too much space on this side. Not quite enough on this side, but it's, it's good enough. I like it. Something a little different from my usual animal, birds, things, whatever's. Nice little change. Nice speed, or I wouldn't really call it a speed job, but... For something different, it worked out pretty nice. And now, I can get started on this pretty kitty pattern. Uh, you can tell I'm not used to working in angles and mirror reflections so that's going to take a while this is definitely going to take a while to get done but i'm going to do it and i'm going to i'm going to take you along for the ride too all right all right um june to our 28th of every month questions and answer videos if you have a question ask if you have something you want to talk about feel free to talk i'll talk you know ugh. so yeah until i see you next time <laughs>